Hello. Did you know that in the United States, over 18 million individuals die each year from heart disease because they did not take care of their hearts? Cardiovascular diseases are the major cause of death worldwide. Remember that eating a heart-healthy diet is one of the most effective methods to lower your risk of heart disease. If you wish to prevent cardiovascular disease and other heart-related ailments, just keep watching. Welcome to our channel. In this video, we will reveal the top 10 foods that may harm your heart over time. Take notice of number 10, which is the most common but also the most ruthless of them all. Before we begin, I'd like to ask, what are the true causes of heart disease? You see, heart disease is mostly caused by damaged blood arteries, often known as vascular disease. These arteries may form atherosclerotic plaques and calcifications, which can result in heart disease. Blood clots may dislodge and cause strokes if they enter the brain. The damage is induced by inflammation and oxidative stress, which are the two primary causes of these problems. Insulin resistance is the major source of inflammation and oxidative stress, and it is the body's most common adaptation. Insulin resistance is a serious problem, largely induced by sugar and processed oils. This is an adaptation, not a sickness or condition that the body develops in response to our lifestyle. Insulin resistance is nearly always reversible, but it requires avoiding the items that cause it. Insulin resistance is a complicated problem that may be impacted by a variety of circumstances, including inflammation, oxidative stress, and the ingestion of certain foods. To overcome insulin resistance and diabetes, it is critical to understand the link between glucose and carbs and avoid the foods that contribute to it. So, let's consider the various foods that are harmful to our hearts. Number one, rice. Yes, you heard me right. Rice is a refined grain that rapidly transforms into sugar, which your body stores as fat. A diet heavy in refined grains may lead to belly fat, which has been linked to heart disease and type 2 diabetes. It also causes a larger post-meal surge in blood sugar levels. Over time, high blood sugar creates a persistent low-grade inflammatory environment that may damage blood vessels and nerves that regulate the heart, causing plaques to develop in the artery walls. Number 2. Alcohol. Excessive use of alcohol, a natural chemical, may lead to heart disease. It is not harmful in itself, but when ingested in large quantities, it overwhelms the liver, which is the only organ capable of processing and breaking down alcohol. This results in the production of a fatty liver, which is produced by fructose, a sugar that is 50% glucose and 50% fructose. Excessive intake of fructose, sugar, soda, candy, and processed foods may result in a fatty liver that becomes insulin resistant. This fat expands into the abdominal cavity and sets the tone for the rest of the body, making insulin resistance a major concern. To prevent heart disease, limit your use of sugar-free beverages such as liquor, gin, vodka, whiskey, rum, and cognac. Wine formed from fermented grapes has a minor quantity of sugar owing to yeast consumption, which leaves the majority of the sugar in the wine. Beer, which is manufactured from barley and malt, is somewhat worse than wine because of its high carbohydrate content. In contrast, mixed drinks include both alcohol and sugar, which are metabolized by the liver. Before we continue kindly like this video, and don't forget to share it with others if you find it informative, let's continue. Number 3. Ultra-processed foods. I know you might be wondering what ultra-processed foods are, I'll tell you. These are natural whole foods such as meat, nuts, eggs, fish, vegetables, tubers, and fruit, which have been present for a long time but have now become an important part of our diet. In the United States, ultra-processed foods account for 73% of all food consumed, with several nations accounting for 50% or more. These meals are loaded with sugar, hazardous chemicals, preservatives, flavorings, and other potentially dangerous ingredients. To make these boring meals more palatable, the chemical industry manufactures concoctions that include salt, sugar, artificial flavorings, seed oils, hydrogenated seed oils, and shortening to keep the product stable. Ultra-processed foods are devoid of nutrients due to their aggressive processing, causing overfeeding and undernutrition. Additional chemicals make meals appealing, contributing to poor metabolic health, insulin resistance, and metabolic syndrome. Limiting processed meals can prevent harmful compounds buildup improving overall well-being. Number 4. 
Fast foods. Yes, I know you must hate me for saying this. After all, everyone loves fast food. But the truth is that fast food is a form of processed food. However, many people believe that since it is warm and looks like food, and it is comparable in some aspects, and they do put some meat and other ingredients in it, it seems to them to be actual food. It seems that the burger, fish, and chicken would provide some protein, and the bread has some grain, as well as some vegetables such as pickles and onion. However, the downside is that you also get a sweet bun. And as previously discussed, the sweet bun is bread composed entirely of sugar and starch. The dressing contains a large amount of seed oils and sugar. They then boil the potatoes, which are pure starch and seed oils, and reuse the oil, which we will discuss more. So fried food adds to all of these diseases. Of course, they will offer you a Coke and or a milkshake to go with it. Number five, seed oils. Seed oils, plant oils, and vegetable oils are all derived from plants, but there are notable variances. Seed oils are strong in omega-6, which is required to maintain a one-to-one -one ratio of omega-3s and omega-6s. When eaten, these oils have a 20-to-1 ratio, with omega-6 being the highest, which is pro-inflammatory. However, when out of balance, they may be pro-inflammatory. Number six, fried food. Fried food is a serious concern since it is made with over-processed vegetable oils. These oils are reused and warmed, resulting in degradation, oxidation, and rancidification. This causes oxidative stress in the body. To prevent this, it is best to use heat-stable oils such as lard, tallow, or coconut oil. These oils are already saturated, making them resistant to oxidation and rancidity. They are also excellent at preserving their quality since they do not become rancid or oxidized when exposed to air. These oils may be kept on the counter for many months without degrading. As a result, cooking food in lard, tallow, or coconut oil may help keep it healthy. If you are still with me, let's consider another heart-destroying food. Number seven, salt. Salt is basically what keeps your blood volume up, allowing it to flow through your veins properly. Simply said, it controls blood pressure. High blood pressure occurs when you consume too much salt or your body is unable to control salt adequately. Salt is a crucial element in your life. However, you don't need too much salt. When storing, keep an eye on the salt content of your goods. You may do this by preserving or storing natural foods rather than commercial packaged meals. Number eight, butter. Butter has a lot of saturated fat, which may elevate bad cholesterol and increase the risk of heart disease. You should substitute butter with olive oil or vegetable oil-based spreads, which include heart-healthy mono and polyunsaturated fats. If you have high cholesterol, a spread containing stanol is even better. Regular usage may help decrease your LDL cholesterol levels. Before we reveal the most dangerous heart-damaging food, let's consider this other heart-threatening food. Number nine, fried chicken. Deep frying chicken adds calories, fat, and salt to an otherwise nutritious dish. Fried foods have been related to type 2 diabetes, obesity, and high blood pressure, all of which increase your risk of heart failure. Instead of frying, coat skinless chicken breasts in whole wheat flour and bake them. Yes, we are finally here. Let's talk about the most severe heart-damaging food. Number 10, sugar. Yes, you heard me correctly. Sugar is the worst food since it is abundant. It has empty calories, lacks nutrients, and disrupts metabolic processes. Sugar contains 50% fructose, which, like alcohol, causes fatty liver and is addictive. People often take many bottles of sugar in a day since it does not provide a feeling of fullness. Sugar is found in a variety of products, including soda, cookies, pastries, ice cream, and processed meals. High fructose corn syrup, which is the same molecule but in a slightly different form, may also be found in cookies, sweets, ice creams, and barbecue sauce. It is widespread and causes inflammation, oxidative damage, and insulin resistance. While many meals are thought to promote heart disease, they are typically healthy if we avoid the dangerous ones. Overall, sugar is the worst food because of its broad availability and addictive nature. High salt, sugar, saturated fat, and refined carbohydrate intake increases your chance of developing a heart attack or stroke over time. If you're concerned about your heart, avoid using them daily. However, rather than focusing on a single problematic dish, you should consider your whole diet. You can still enjoy these foods if you consume largely heart-healthy fruits and vegetables, 
whole grains, lean protein, and low-fat dairy. Are you aware of other hearts damaging food? We would love you to drop them in the comments section so others can also learn. Meanwhile, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.